see, I asked the guy, I said, baby, why not let me be your guy? You, know? you see the way that my side bears full? That is the way that my shop full for labor market. But I didn't, I didn't want to talk too much. I just want to, uh, to introduce my own very friend, uh, Dr. Njakri Damages. <laughs> Welcome to the show. My name is Dr. Damages. We are coming to you from the greatest city in the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. New York City is so great. How great? That in other cities of the world, mm -hmm. when you give people lemon, mm -hmm. they make lemonade. Hey. <laughs> when you give them chalk, they make chocolate. Yeah. <laughs> but in New York City, when you give us snow, we make awesomeness. Hey. Watch. Now, if I can make it there, I'm gonna make it. I know, I know, I know. And, and just like everything in New York City, it comes to an end as soon as you see the NYPD. Uh, oh. Hey. oh yeah, oh yeah, that's how everything ends here. Watch. <laughs> wow, I don't know how that could have been uh, more. <laughs> yes, officer? Someone complained about you, so we're just gonna act like we're talking to you, all right? <laughs> you guys are awesome. I know, I know. The truth is that New York City, we are anything but pretentious. Hey. That is why our greatest export to the rest of America, Donald Trump, hey. is kicking the behind of his competitors. <laughs> he has defied logic, mm. defied gravity, uh -huh. defied Fox News, uh -huh. and even that bimbo, oh, that bimbo hey. called uh, Megan Kelly. Hey. <laughs> no Republican running for the presidency of the United States has ever turned his or her back on Fox News Whoa. and survive. Nobody, yes. but not Trump, not Trump. Mm, mm. Here is Trump this week giving reasons why he will not participate in the last Republican debate before the Iowa caucus. Watch. Well, Fox is playing games, yeah. A Fox is gonna make a fortune. I told Fox you should give money to the wounded warriors. I'm not a fan of Megyn Kelly. I think she's a third rate reporter. I think she frankly is not good at what she does. <laughs> Oops. Did he call Megyn Kelly a third rate reporter? Oh my God, Donna, Donna. What, what is wrong with that? What, okay, what else? What else did he say? Watch. See, the point is that with me, they're dealing with somebody that's a little bit different. They can't toy with me like they toy with everybody else. So let them have their debate and let's see how they do with the ratings. Oh. <laughs> rating, rating. Hey. Momudoka. Mm, mm, mm. um, this is the monologue. I when saw the I, ticket you bought. What, you want to go to the Abby? Oh, you forgot? What ticket? Oh, to where? You, wanted, you wanted to show me the ticket. To go to where? Anyway. To go to where? Eric, what? No, no, is no, that no, a country? no. Uh, um, um, I'm in the monologue. Shut up! You're going to marry another wife, Abby. For your information, that law has been cancelled. Shame on you. You will sleep outside. Don't come home, oh. <laughs> Make sure I, you I remain don't know, here. I don't know what you're talking with your about. your tomato or whatever. Uh, um, we stay here with her. Water. Thank you. Bye bye. Why is she? Who, who let her she in here? I don't know. It wasn't me. Hey, is, is it true that they love? No, I don't think so. No. I don't think so. Let's go. Let's keep going. My, they said my visa will come in today. So, where was I? I had uh, Donald Trump. You know, I don't know. We may never say bye bye to this man. Mm. Yeah, this, oh. this D D Donald Trump. We may never. Of course, of course, he skipped the debate. Mm. He didn't show up. He had his own show on the same night of the debate. Mm. And his show had more people watching. <laughs> now, now, the good news is that the show is over. It's done. Mm. No more pretension anymore from now. Mm. Mm. This week, this week, the first vote in the 2016 presidential election will take place. Mm. Yeah, if Trump wins the votes, yes. then I tell you, be very afraid. Yeah. Be very afraid. Some of you Nigerians in America may have to return to the creek. Yeah. Like, like this one. We do, we do. <laughs> See fish where they wear safety vests. <laughs> as, if, as if it will keep him afloat. <laughs> we die his big stomach. <laughs> Anyway, anyway, talking about pretenses, mm. the Thailand government last week ran into trouble mm. when they covered the nude status of um, some statues at their capital building. They did? Yeah, yeah, they covered it to please the Iranian president, Hassan Rouhani. Uh -uh. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah. In one single move, mm. the Thailand government 
annoyed her citizens mm. and also the Iranians. Yes. Really? Now, now, this kind of nonsense will not happen under President Donald Trump. It will happen. Yes. Oh. Nonsense. Now, the question Italians were now asking were, they were asking questions like, what else are we covering up to make uh -huh. this Ila Iranian leader happy? Yes. Yeah. Are we covering up the graves of our ancestors who led the crusades? Uh -huh. Now, now, when I say crusade, uh, I don't mean this uh, that you're thing that your pastor do at night. Uh -huh. Loudspeakers and microphone. No, no. This crusade is a major historical uh -huh. landmark. Uh -huh. I, know, I know you don't hear this on Keeping It Real. I'm just trying to update it. Now, 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 on the part of the Iranians, they were mad that Italians think they have uh, no penis at all. <laughs> and as such, they have to cover it up so that they don't see something they've never seen before. Yeah. <laughs> listen, listen, listen. I think I know why the Italians did this. Uh -huh. Someone did not want someone else to feel, to start feeling big-headed. Yeah. That their people's penises are bigger than the other one. <laughs> that's it, that's it. No, no, that's no. it. That's the reason. Thank God that when the Iranian leader go to France, mm -hmm. the French will not take that nonsense. Yes. Hey. Instead of taking wine and the alcohol off the table, mm -hmm. the French decided, you know what, we cancel lunch and dinner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 they said cancel it. Now, my concern is that if this kind of behavior, if it spreads, you know, I mean covering nude statues everywhere that the people from the Middle East are going, mm -hmm. when they come to Nigeria, we may be forced to cover up Kosi or Jacob. <laughs> And you know, I you know that will that will mess up my day. No, oh, oh, and, and my day, oh, my either, yeah. And that will be a cultural suicide for Nigeria. Mm -hmm. So we can't allow that. Now, talking about covering things up in Kenya, a Supreme Court judge mm -hmm. is being accused of taking two million dollars mm -hmm. in bribe mm -hmm. to rule in favor of a candidate for governor of Nairobi. We begin in the judiciary where the news is tightening on Supreme Court Judge Philip Tunoy, who is accused of receiving a bribe from Nairobi Governor Evans Kidero. Chief Justice William Mutunga has now called a special session of the Judicial Service Commission to discuss the damning allegation. Yeah, mm -hmm, it happened. I know. The news headline said that the news is tightening. <laughs> mm. I'm like, so, so does that mean that Olisa Metu got a better deal? <laughs> I mean, the news is tightening around the judge's neck. Two million dollars in bribe. Wow. You would think there is only one only summiting in Africa, but oh, apparently wow. they're everywhere. Yes. <laughs> anyway, anyway, the man accused Judge Philip Tunoy hmm. has denied the charges leveled against him. Hmm. Hey. Oi, listen to him. I've never met him personally or at close range, but I've never shaken his hand. I've never seen him. Wow. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He has never met his accuser, mm -hmm. not even at any close range. Mm -hmm. He has never shaken his hand. Hey. <laughs> he has never seen him. Hey. It then follows that he has never signed a check, hey. <laughs> has never given or received any bribe. That's, that's how it goes, you know? Meanwhile, meanwhile, the chief judge of uh, Kenya, mm -hmm. the Supreme Court, said that these charges are grave and he vowed to act due to the public interest on this matter. Yes. I'm like, what? That, is that allowed? When is public interest more important than private interest? Yes. Tell me about this, it. This Kenyan self, they, they surprise me. Yes. I don't know. <laughs> now, now, this is the funny part. A journalist swore that he personally delivered the bribe to the judge. Oh no, I didn't make it up. Listen. A former journalist with Cass FM claimed in the affidavit that he acted as a conduit between Justice Tunoy and the Nairobi governor to deliver the bribe that he says was meant to influence the Supreme Court. Hey, hey, hey a journalist. You know, you know, despite this Eritrean marriage story, mm -hmm. I have a brand new respect for Nigerian journalists. Yes. Right. When they collect bribe and deliver it to a judge, they don't make a fuss out of it. Yes. <laughs> you know, Kenyan journalists, they appear to confuse, uh, be confused about this, their job uh, description. Uh -huh. I've been wondering why, who taught this Kenyan journalist this nonsense? Um, and then I had it on, the, on Kenyan TV. Of course, where else? What? Miseducating the masses? Teachers unions now rubbish World Bank report that showed that 60% of Kenya's teachers cannot speak English. Yeah. Can you believe that? 
60% of Kenyan teachers mm -hmm. cannot speak English. <laughs> I say, get out of here. <laughs> now, now, if 60% of Kenyan teachers cannot speak English, what would the figure look like for Nigeria? <laughs> I mean, let, let's ask this teacher from Edo State. Watch. <laughs> Okay. 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 Make I make I start make I start again. <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. Buhari spent three days last week in Kenya. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Look at look at him. Yes. Wait 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 wait. Is is that his stomach? What am I seeing? <laughs> can, can you can you zoom closer to that? But the 2016 uh, budget is yet to pass. How how come his stomach is already coming out? What will happen when the 1.6 billion Aso Rock food budget arrives? <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> I can tell you this: that Buhari must have learned one or two things mm -hmm. about due process and obeying court orders in Kenya. Yes. Mm -hmm. No, he must have. He was there for three days. <laughs> Go and sleep. <laughs> Make I start again. <laughs> In corruption news, the EFCC last week questioned a friend of former President Golo Janetan. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah, Mr. Jide Omokore. Hmm. You know him? Yes. Is that not your friend? Ah, no, <laughs> the, my friend. The man's company. Atlantic Energy was involved in several questionable oil deals. Yes. Wow. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. According to Premium Times. Now, you know Premium Times did not report about this Eritrean uh, marriage thing. They which, did which, not? which tells you something. Anyway, them. anyway, <laughs> anyway. According to Premium Times, the former Minister of Petroleum, Desi and Alison Madeke, mm -hmm. awarded Atlantic Energy controlling share in two lucrative oil blocks. <laughs> OML 30 and OML 34. Wow! Whoa. If you got the 31, you're, you lost. <laughs> <laughs> now, 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 Atlantic Energy paid $50 million for the oil blocks, wow. while Shell paid $1.3 billion for just 45% of the share. Get, get this, let me, let me slow down so that Whoa. some people who are mathematically yeah. challenged will understand. Atlantic Energy paid for 50% of the of the shares paid 50 million. million. What? Why Shell paid 1.3 billion? Oh no, my no. God. That's not all. That's not all. Wow. <laughs> In 2012, Atlantic Energy, they lifted oil worth 350 million. What? But they only paid 160 million to the government. Oh. In 2013, oh. they lifted oil worth 240 million. Hmm. But they only paid 68 million to the government. Wow. Now, in 2014, the company did not bother to pay anything. They just. <laughs> so, so, if you think that the Suki Get matter is coming to an end and you are going to go back to sleep, mm -hmm. you aren't seen nothing yet. Mm. No. You aren't seen nothing yet. Yes. It is the same with those who wish to see the last man standing. You know the person I'm talking about? Mm -hmm. The man who is standing between us and President Buhari, the only man left to help us put Buhari's leg into fire. Mm. I'm talking about no other person but the executive governor of Ekiti State. Mm. Honorable Ayo Fayoshe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Last week, Mr. Fayoshe explained why he will continue to criticize Buhari mm -hmm. until either Buhari or himself dies. Yes. Yeah. Watch. As a woman, what the past two years again? My friend, wow. my friend, that is not the video now. Uh, what, what is wrong with you? Put the right video. That was Ayo Fire she passing the 2016 budget in Ekiti. Mm -hmm. You know, you know, this is how they do it in Ekiti. Make I pass them. Pass them. Make I pass them. Pass them. Budget is passed. Bam, bam, bam. That's how they do it. <laughs> anyway, 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 anyway. Get the right video, my. What's wrong with you? Eh? Let me make this very clear. I'm not here because of the federal government. And I'm not going to discuss the federal government. Thank I you. am here for the urban nation. Issues that lead to Udua and the urban nation. Oh, 
Not again. Mm. Eh? That is not the video. That was Ayo Fire. She visiting Governor Arebe Arebe Shola. Shola. Yeah. Arebe to discuss Shola. the possibility of uh, getting political asylum in Odudua Republic. <laughs> <laughs> that was the video. Give me the right video, my friend. Mm -hmm. Oh, where is Sasha? Eh? Why, why are you messing up my show today? Yeah? If Sasha is not here, you cannot even find ordinary video. Mm -hmm. Anyway, by the way, Fireshare explained that he will keep attacking Buhari because before he became a downfall driver, he used to ride bicycle. And, and he, said, he said that he learned that once you are on a bicycle, if you stop pedaling, you will fall. Yes. Smart, smart man. Smart man. That was a good one. <laughs> meanwhile, meanwhile, all is not well in APC. Why? The ruling party. No, all is not well. The Supreme Court gave the contested River State governorship position to PDP. Yeah. The judges said that Governor Wike won the election. Mm. They said yeah. that despite the body language of uh, Mohammed Buhari, they don't care. Mm -hmm. I tell you, I tell you, Buhari is losing his mojo. Yes. Mm. If he can no longer yeah. tell the courts what to do, mm. what is left? He's not supposed to tell the eh? courts what to do. <laughs> but more importantly, but what are we going to do with that hashtag, Tyrant Buhari? You know the, you know the hashtag? Yes. Yes. What are we going to do if he's no longer a tyrant? What is going on? Anyway, Governor Wike's win at the Supreme Court is a, is a minor thing mm. compared to what Remy Tinubu did. Mm. Mm. You know Remy Tinubu? Yes. The no, wife no. of uh, Bola Tinubu? Yes. She stood up in the, inside the Senate chambers and said this. Watch. It's as if we, they've been used during the campaign. We said this is the uh, government of change, that our change mantra is supposed to change things across board. Mm. What? I said, what? Wait a minute, wait a minute, man. Who asked her to say something this outrageous? Mm. Yeah, I think, I think, I think I know the suspect. I think uh, you know the suspect. Yeah. Uh, I think, uh, yeah, you know. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Remy, Remy, go on. No, we are not, we are not, we are, the change, when we talk about change, that doesn't mean we are going to just be, uh, you know, you know, uh, supporting what is not working. Send you come. <laughs> Wait, 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 wait. You know, you know, we are not, um, when we mean uh, change, um, does that, th that does not mean, um, you know, we are, we are not going to be supporting. <laughs> ah. Now, now, even you, Remy Tinubu, you the fear. How about? Even you. Anyway, despite the fear, Tinubu's wife made a very important point about promises that, that APC is yet to keep. Yes. Watch. And also, um, there is this. Uh, just give me a minute. There is this. Um... Wow. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Give her a minute. Give her a minute. She has something important. Some important stuff to tell us. Give her a minute. And um, I think I would like to rest my case here. Thank you, Mr. President. Oh, well, oh, well, oh, well. I think, I, I, think I think, I think, I too have, I raised my case. <laughs> I raised my case. Get out of here. But, but unlike Remy Tinubu, Senator Ben Bruce, you know him? Mm. He does not panic when his colleagues laugh at his presentation. Yes, he doesn't. Watch him. Transporters raised it disproportionately to the cost of what everybody's talking. I wish I was Senate President I'd beat somebody right now. <laughs> now, <laughs> pay attention. I know. I wish this man is the Senate president. Mm -hmm. No, 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 no. Not because, not because he will hit somebody, <laughs> some of his colleagues with the hammer. No, no, that's not what I'm saying. But because of this, watch. The real argument government should make is, what is the cost of transportation? If you lived in a kitty and you are going to work and you spend, Dino, put your hands down. And you spend. Ah, <laughs> he said, Dino, put your, put your hands down. <laughs> listen, listen to this one. Two, we must not put your hands down. We must now focus. You, you talk, no, quiet. But what I'm saying is this. What I'm saying is this. We must review the budget every three months and adjust it to the reality. For me, Dino. For me. <laughs> I, I tell you, I tell you, these people are crazy. They are crazy. But they are the people who governing, this running the country. But, but, so, so after Ben Bruce put Dino in his place, he went to his favorite sofa, the Twitter, mm. to preach. Mm. Here are some examples. <laughs> look at him, look at him, look at his tweet. Uh -huh. 
so much for being transparent. Mm -hmm. eh? I know how much members of the House of Commons make. Meanwhile, I don't live in the UK. Yes. And you are telling me that because you, you can only talk to your constituency. Yes. Look at another tweet from him. <laughs> yeah. I, I said, I said uh, uh, Ben Bruce, we the people, we are, we are willing to support you. Mm. But you need to be brave enough to name yeah. the luxuries that you people are enjoying. Yeah. You can't be saying that you are enjoying luxuries that should be... Tell us what it is. We will support you. Public information. Nonsense. Yes. Now, I know what people are saying. Forget all those people. Mm -hmm. Tell us what happened on your way to Eritrea. Ah! <laughs> I know, I know, I know. For a moment last week, all roads led to the Eritrean embassies across Africa. Mm -hmm. As African men rushed to get to the East African country to marry. Mm -hmm. Now, a news report stated that men in Eritrea, uh, they've been mandated to marry two wives eh? or go to jail. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I saw the report to myself, you know. Yeah, Why people were still lining up at the embassies across Africa? Dr. Damages received the first picture of the first Nigerian who made it into the country eh? and, and collected his own two wives. Eh? Watch. <laughs> That's it. I know, I know. The man said to, he turned around and said to the press, if I could get mine, so can you. <laughs> Even reporters forgot their job and went to Eritrea. Yeah. Now, now, thanks to Eritrean story, Nigerian women now know what their men really think about them. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they now know the kind of women Nigerian men are interested in. Mm -hmm. Most importantly, Nigerian women now know that to get a Nigerian man excited, it's not just enough to bleach your skin. Yes. You have to do more. Yeah. Straighten some things, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Now, now, African journalists are so dumb. What? Yo, yeah, yeah. Doctor, you're one of I'm them. not one of them, no. They did not even know the country called Eritrea before the story broke. Uh. Because if they knew, they would have known that in that country, most part of that country, mm -hmm. women pay dowry to marry men. Uh -huh. uh. That's a good Oh, yeah. Thing. They pay dowry. Really? Yeah. And, and it, doesn't, it doesn't come cheap. <laughs> <laughs> The, the average dowry consists of four cows uh -huh. at a price of 2,000 each. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Can you imagine that? You know, immediately an idea came into me. This idea was, how many Nigerian men do we need to send to Eritrea to mm. marry their women? Mm. And by doing that, we raise enough money for the budget 2016. Ah. I know, if you can calculate that, please send your answer to Femi Adeshina at asorog.com. That's one of our expectations. Yeah. Yes. Is that, is that his uh, email address? I don't know. I send, so. send, send him. Because that's a plan. We can send like 300,000 men, go and marry them. They get the cows, we sell the cows, we pay for our budget. Anyway, anyway, when I say that most Nigerian news sources check and recheck their stories before they rush to publish, mm -hmm. people think I was kidding. Mm -hmm. This Eritrean story proved it. Mm -hmm. My question to you is this. Is your news source still credible and reliable mm -hmm. if it was fooled by this uh, marriage story? Mm -hmm. And how often do they make this kind of mistake of publishing unverified stories? Mm -hmm. I'm just telling you, check your source. Anyway. Last week, I told you of awards that President Goodluck Jonathan won. Hmm. Now, this week, he won more. Yeah. The world, they continue to celebrate the man. Wonderful. Yeah, more awards. There is one given to him by Sun Times newspaper here in America. Have you seen the paper? No. D don't go to any newsstand looking for it. <laughs> You're not going to see it. Don't even look for them on the web, you know. <laughs> but but he won that award. He won another one in DC. They're everywhere. They're giving him. I tell you, I see the Nobel Prize coming his way. Yeah. But before that happens, the Economist of London gave him their own award. Oh yeah, oh yeah. In an editorial published last week, the paper called our hero of democracy ineffectual buffoon. Oh. What? No. What? No. Drama. Did they do that? Ine Drama. Ineffectual buffoon. Bu Jesus. Yes. How? This is this is how they put it. Let me let me let me just let me just read the the, 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 the whole sentence for you. Just just pay attention. Pay attention. It's, yeah, I'm, I'm hot. Pay attention. Okay, pay attention. It says the government has cracked down on corruption. Talking about Buhari, which had flourished under the previous president, Good Lord Jonathan. An ineffectual buffoon who let politicians and their cronies fill their pockets with impunity. Yes. Mm. I, I don't like this one bit. I don't too. The Economist magazine should mind their own business. Don't, yeah? don't yes. insult the, our hero of democracy. Yes, yes. It is the business of Dr. Damages to define our heroes. Uh -huh. 
not you, the Colonel. I don't, I don't is, insult your Prime Minister. Who, who is that, their Prime Minister, by the way? I, 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 who is David? Who? Leave, leave our hero of democracy alone. <laughs> Ah, this is the same we call Secret Self. It's based on the premise that a picture is worth more than a thousand. Why? Now, the picture you're looking at is a picture of a classroom in Nigeria mm. in 1950. Yes. Somewhere wow. in Nigeria in 1950, this is the picture of a classroom. Now, now, take a close look at that picture. You will see that guy at the extreme end. Look at him, look at him. That one, yeah, that one, that one. Do, doesn't he look like Olushigo and Basenjo? <laughs> you see, you see, that, that's, that's what I'm saying. The, the secret of this picture is that when Obasanjo, when you hear him say that he is the father of modern Nigeria, he really means it. He, he's not lying. Coming from this humble beginning and getting to where he is now, where he owns the biggest hotel in Ogun State, the largest share in Transcorp, and one of the biggest farms in Africa. Hmm. It gives him the moral authority to score other people and tell them they are corrupt. Hmm. You understand? Yeah. Like, like the letter he wrote to the National Assembly. <laughs> anyway, yeah, I don't want to go into that. Until next week, we'll get into that. Now, here are some stories making headline news across Nigeria this week. <laughs> Buhari fighting insurgency with the equipment I bought, says Jonathan. <laughs> you know, you know, this is, this is what I said. I said, I said, my, my friend, my friend, my friend, you are, you are destroying your last hope. You know, this, because, because your defense in this trial coming up is that you don't know. But now that you are saying that they are using your weapons, that means you, you know something about how the money went. You know, I'm just telling this advice, you know, I'm just helping you. Don't, don't say things like this. It, it doesn't, it doesn't help. It doesn't help. <laughs> Just stick to the, that line that you are not saying anything now. That's, it's better. <laughs> Supreme Court upholds Governor Wicke's election. Did you hear that? Yeah. Big story. Yeah. Oh, yeah. The, now, no it's, it's big. It's big. That, that, did, did I hear you say, <laughs> when will Buhari stop controlling the courts? Mm. Telling them what to do. <laughs> is Remember? He, is he controlling the courts? I don't know. <laughs> anyway. Nigerian army officers ordered to declare their assets. Whoa. This is big. This is big. It has never happened before. That is awesome. Now, my, my, what I'm saying is that they must not forget their concubines, the ones they left in <laughs> Liberia, in Congo, in mm -hmm. Rwanda, anywhere they went to fight any war. They leave concubines. They must not, for security reasons, that's what I'm saying. When you declare your asset, make sure you mention their name, uh, 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 Margaret. And, uh. There is a Tom Polo waiting to be born in all Niger Delta people. This is the statement by Ijo Elders. So in every Niger Delta person, there is a Tompolo in, in the person. Mm. You know, that made me start to think, you know, does it then follow that there is an Obasanjo waiting to be born in every Nigerian soldier? <laughs> I mean, I'm thinking, okay, listen to this soldier talking, ex-soldier talking, listen to him. The Obasanjo's leveling of what? could take place in some of such communities if they cannot push that with Now we clear human rights are left. Yeah, it's going like that. Here we go again. Now like they've got rights on there. Yes, here we go again. Are you in? Oh, wow. Don't you don't you see? There's an obus enjoying him. <laughs> Metu gets 300 million bell for tearing own statement. He he tore his own statement. The, wow. the, he wrote for the EFCC. I'm like a raw eh? So how much will a man get for tearing his uh, Uniport uh, PhD thesis? <laughs> how much do you think you should get it for Bell if you tear your... Does he even have a, anything written? Anyway. <laughs> okay. I had orders from above to make sure Metu arrives caught in handcuffs. Yeah, that is what the, the, the prison official is saying. Now, let me tell this man. Remember that Dasuki also had orders from above to share our money. <laughs> but, but, but now he's, he's the one explaining things. So be careful what other you are getting. <laughs> you may have to explain for yourself. <laughs> Aviation sector is collapsing, says the federal government. In fact, they cried out. <laughs> you know, you know. Um, if they look around, they may actually be shocked that many more things are collapsing. <laughs> but I don't think they are looking around. You know, they're just seeing the aviation is collapsing. Everything is collapsing. Anyway. 
I knew I would be a star at 11 years. Ronaldo, you know the guy? He said he knew at 11 that he would be a star and that people are praising him. Listen, listen. I, Dr. Damages, I knew I would be a doctor the moment I fell jump three times. That was when I said I'm going to be a doctor. And you are? Obviously, and I'm a doctor. <laughs> Jonathan government issued multi-billion naira rice importation quota last days in office. He, did. he just said, he just said, he called them and said, take it, do this in remembrance of me. Remember. <laughs> <laughs> he wasn't giving it out. Do this in remembrance of me. Man of God buries bodies under his church. You know, you know, you know, when men of God are now killing people and using them as foundation. Hey. Now, this, this is my concern. When a man of God is burying dead bodies as foundation for his church, imagine where he will bury your tithes. Hey. I'm just saying, you have to be concerned about that. Hmm. It's time for your... Amen! <laughs> 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 it's time for your email. Yes, what is yours? So, You're back. Yes, so. so, do we have emails today? Every time you tell me I'm back, should I just go and not no, come no, back? No, no, no. You know, sometimes after hey. what you did last year, I became afraid. You know, when we don't see you, I panic. I said you're back. I'm happy to see I'm you. I'm back and I'm proud. All right. Mm -hmm. So, do we have emails today? Every day, doctor. Okay, let's hear them. Okay, our first email is from Uzo Ogan. Uzo, he, Uzo sounds like my name, my friend. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. What, well, let me. Okay, it. let's, let's mm -hmm. see. What, he writes, uh -huh. Doctor Damages, yes. or whatever you call yourself. Uh -huh. That's your friend, okay. all right? Uh, wait, he wait. said, I just managed to watch one of your shows. Manage. You are just annoying. Uh -oh. Please quit this stupidity. Uh -huh. It is neither informative, uh, educative, uh, nor entertaining. <laughs> Your attempt to be funny makes you look and sound stupid. You suck. <laughs> wait, 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 let me stop. And you say that's, that's your friend. Is that a real email? Uzo. <laughs> Uzo. This man, this man has finished me. <laughs> now, too, too much, just Must you start with this kind of email? Listen, that's what I saw. I'm reading. Just the messenger. I'm, I'm shaking. <laughs> Uzo, Uzo, Uzo. I'm so sorry you feel this way. I hope you will continue to watch. Mm -hmm. One day, I will stop being annoying. That, that's a promise. <laughs> no, it's not like APC promise. I, that's a promise. One day, I will stop being annoying. We hope. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, let me tell you, let me tell you. I know, I know. It's, it's bitter, you know, things. But bitter things sometimes, like bitter cola, you know, they are good for your health. Mm -hmm. I know sometimes when you watch this, you feel bitter because... It's not saying what you want him to say. <laughs> I feel the same way too. We are in the same boat. It's, the guy is annoying. <laughs> Next. Doctor. <laughs> uh, our second email is from Emmy Yo. Oh, right. Emmy. That's the that's name? Emmy. Emmy. That's what they put. So wow. I just read. Wow. Mm -hmm. What does he want? They say, Dear Dr. Damages, mm -hmm. there's a big problem in Nigeria. Uh -uh. And with Nigerians, if we expect thieves like senators to pass laws that will put them in prison, mm -hmm. a thief can never find what he stole. <laughs> the senators in Nigeria are all thieves. What? And we as people cannot expect thieves to develop the country. Another big problem in the country Another is that one. most Nigerians are liars and thieves. Hey. And thieves again. <laughs> this guy must be from Ghana. Keep going. If, if Nigerians know that their leaders are corrupt and mm. are stealing, yet they do nothing about it, then they are thieves like themselves. Wow. Look at point. all the leaders of the churches. Yeah. They steal from the people <laughs> to buy cars and jet planes. They are supposed to preach the truth. Instead, wow. they are stealing. Wow. Martin Luther King. Uh-oh was not a liar, nor a thief. Ooh. That is why he could lead the civil rights movement in America. Wow. Until Nigerians start telling the truth and stop stealing, we cannot move forward in the country. Wow. Hey! Neo is mad. He is he mad is as mad hell. Oh. No, no. I'm, <laughs> sh I'm sure we can find one or uh, two mm. people in the Senate who are not it. Maybe one. One oh. or maybe, you know. <laughs> as for Nigerians, I can say that they are not all thieves. Mm -mm. At least those who are watching this show now. They are not thieves. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, good people. Hi, Aisha. Next. Uh, here you go again. <laughs> Our third email is from Kenny from Doha. 
Hey, right. Kenny, Kenny, mm-hmm. yeah, that's my friend. He said, Dear Dr. Damages, mm-hmm. I commend you and your team for I doing a it. good job. I said it. More grease to your elbow. Oh, thank you. I cannot man. express how disappointing I am in several advertisements on CNN uh-uh. of shameless Nigerian banks and mobile service providers, uh-uh. which I believe you see frequently since you are a resident in the U.S. Uh-huh. My point is that why can't these people think and ask themselves, how many financial institutions in the world advertises on CNN? <laughs> Despite the pitiful state of the Nigerian economy mm-hmm. and her currency, yeah. it is unfortunate that the only thing we can market to the world is our banks and ridiculous glow network. <laughs> can someone talk sense to the CEOs of these wow. banks to bury their shameful head wow. in mud and realize that no sensible investor will bring their funds to Nigeria with all the mess on ground? Wow. Countries like Kenya, South Africa, and Indonesia, to mention a few, mm. are advertising meaningfully on TNN. So they, they should take a clue from them. Please help talk sense into their empty heads. Hey, thank, hey. You. thank you, Kenny. You know, I like your observation. You know, Kenny. people who are thinking. I was shocked last week when I saw Dangote advertise on CNN GPS. Eh? Oh yeah, I was like, as a nationalist, the first instinct was to say, yes, Nigeria You did CNN. it. Yes. You did it. <laughs> I said, Americans are seeing Dangote. Yes. And then I asked myself, mm. with Dangote's company, mm. with its uh, ethical manners, mm-hmm. survive a month in America? Mm-hmm. Hell no. It would have been taken over by the government and broken up. Mm. But in Nigeria, it's a monopoly. It's ah. in charge everywhere. Nonsense. Next! <laughs> Our fourth email is from Jimo Sule. He writes, Dr. Damages, I do follow your program. Oh. It gives tips on what's happening in the world. And your diagnostics are for real, I must say. <laughs> Thank you. Mm-hmm. I would like you to help diagnose Fayoshe of Ekiti State. Okay. He seems to be suffering from an undiscovered illness. What? Also, would like to know, how you came about the name Tomato Joss. Could oh. that be a botanical name or something? <laughs> botanical. Uh, thank you, Jimo. Thank you so much. If Fayoshe were to be an elephant, what he's suffering from mm. would have been called elephantiasis. Mm. But since he's Fayoshe, we in the medical field, we call his illness Fayotiasis. <laughs> mm. As for Tomato Joss, her name is an anatomical name for... What did I say? An- anatomic? No, no, no. I mean psychological for... Never mind. Kids are watching. Next! <laughs> I'll pray for you. Our fifth email is from Paul Marshall in Vienna, Austria. He That's writes, my friend. I know. Yeah. Mm-hmm. We used, used to, to eat this year. Yeah. I'm sure together. you always mm-hmm. talk about him. Yeah, anyway, yeah, yeah. he writes, Please, doctor, you mm-hmm. are the voice of the Nigerian voiceless. Tell the presidency to forget about the missing or money laundering of the past government wow. and focus on how we can move forward. Mm-hmm. Please, if he feels like the past government, we will use our electoral mandate to unseat him in the next general election. Wow. Holla tomato just for me and oh. keep the flag flying higher. We are behind you, the quack doctor. Ah. <laughs> Paul. Yes. Paul. Paul. I'm just kidding, no. Paul. <laughs> Did you just call me quack? Quack. Wait anyway, no, no, no shaking, no shaking. <laughs> Unlike someone that I know, eh, whose PhD we haven't seen, mm. my MD certificate is right there in my office mm. yeah, from John Hopkins University. We don't hide it. Mm. You can go and ask the university. Anyway, uh, about the government, you, you think they don't know that it's an election coming up in 2019? They know. <laughs> and I'm sure they don't want Jonathan to win the election. You know the way he's winning an award now? He may come back in 2019 and win <laughs> the election. Not? Why not? So they are aware of, they are aware of what you're talking about. You know? But let me tell you this. If you don't know where the rain started to beat you, hmm. you won't know where it stopped. Eh? I'm just saying. There's hmm. something deep for you to think about. Okay. Next. Okay, our sixth and final email is from Ogbeni from Middlesex, UK. Ooh, he's our friend, yeah. Mm, your friend, he, you can keep friend. him. He writes, <laughs> Doc, my ducky. Oh, yeah, yeah. Firstly, my apologies for referring to you as a quack in my last submission. I, it, they will confess, they all of them. That. They will confess. <laughs> Confession time. <laughs> your many diagnoses lately have proved your ace factor. Ah. A few points from me to mm-hmm. our political leaders and media. Mm. War on corruption is sensational as it is, mm. but it is not the whole story. Uh-uh. 
We need other headlines, sensational as well, from our ministers on mm. how they are steering the country. Mm. I am personally in no doubt as to their ability. But visions need to be articulated what? to the elector yeah, to mm. the electorate. Mm. The president of the EFCC mm. should set a target of how much they intend to recover from the goat <laughs> and set a time frame to give updates on the yam vomiting. Ooh. Mm -hmm. Th thank you, my friend. Thank you so much, you know. Like they say, the mouth that speak it bad, the hmm. one they speak it to. Hey. Yes. Now, as for the media, all of you calling me quack doctor, mm -hmm. you are going to speak it truth one day. Mm -hmm. Anyway, as for the media, they will always follow stories that readers want to read. Mm -hmm. Do you know that people who are in prison all over Nigeria, mm -hmm. I mean, I'm talking about Tolisa, and, <laughs> and uh, Dasuke, they were so happy this week mm -hmm. over this Eritrean story. Mm -hmm. You know, just for the moment, they were like, oh, people, they, they, uh, I know, that's okay, and they couldn't go to, they couldn't go to Eritrea to get a <laughs> wife. But for that moment, they were like, yeah, these Nigerians are off our back. <laughs> mm -hmm. They have something to think about other than us. Hey. You know? So that's how, that's how the media works. It doesn't matter what the government is doing. If they do give somebody, some people, the readers, what they want, they, mm. will, they will enjoy it. Did I answer his question? Well, he got what he wanted. <laughs> like, now, now, thank you guys for all the emails. Uh, that's all the time we have for emails. Please keep sending your emails to Dr. Damages at gmail.com and follow us on Twitter at Dr. Damages. Now, here is my concern for today. It's mm -hmm. taken from page 419 of the book, The Children Are Our Future by Ann Landers. They are. Oh, yeah. And it says, it is not what you do for your children, but what you have taught them to do for themselves, that we make them successful human beings. Hmm. Until next week, I'm Dr. Damages. I diagnose. You heal yourself. Woo! Woo! So, woo, 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 woo. What's up? What did, they, what did they teach you that made you a successful human being? Mm. The answer is spending. The answer is spending. They don't know that we're still shooting. Choose that one the next time. Yeah. Choose that one that will do some American life. That one would not be more like. Look at them. They busted into us. I know. They don't know that we're still shooting. No, we're not done. No, it's okay. Lo doctor, let's go. Let's go. go. Let's okay. go. Let's see you go. next, see you next, next time. time. Until next time. See you. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. These people, they, they, they just came here. And they,